for this craft you'll need printables from our blog, white foam board, gold paper, E6000 glue, a glue stick, wooden dowels, pencil or pen, scissors, and of course Mod Podge. You're going to start by cutting out the printables from our blog. Then you're going to take the table printables, turn them upside down on the white foam board, and trace around it. Then cut them out. You will have two table pieces. Now take the table printables and Mod Podge the top of them. Not the foam board, just the paper. Now you're going to take a glue stick, apply it to the foam board, and then put the printables on top. For this part, you only want to use a glue stick or a spray adhesive. You do not want to use Mod Podge. Because it is water-based, it will warp the foam board. You only want to Mod Podge the paper before you put it onto the foam board to give it that glossy look. Repeat this process for the second table piece. Now take your gold paper that is 8.5 by 11 and cut it at the 6 inch mark. That will give you a strip of 2.5 inches and a strip of 6 inches. These are going to be your table legs. Start by taking a large wooden dowel and using the 6 inch gold paper, wrapping it around the dowel to form the table leg. Repeat this process three times for three legs. Now take your medium wooden dowel and your two and a half inch gold paper and roll it up on the dowel. This is the same process, just shorter legs. Repeat this three times as well. So you should have three long legs and three short legs. Mod Podge all of the legs before you attach it to the table. Now your table pieces are ready to be put together. Take your large tabletop, turn it upside down, and place the three legs where you want them to go. Make sure you spread them evenly so it doesn't topple over once you turn it around. Take your E6000 glue and apply it to the inside and edge of the table leg and then press it into place. Take your small tabletop, turn it upside down and place the three legs where you want them to go. Make sure you have one at each end of the kidney. Make sure it completely dries. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. Once it's dry, then you can put the tabletop onto the table base wherever you want it to go and secure it in place with E6000 glue. Now to make your TV guides, you're going to take a piece of white paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it one last time, and then take your printable, set it on top, and trace around it. Then when you cut it out, be sure to cut on the inside of the lines that you've drawn. When you fold it over, it tends to get bigger than the printable, so go ahead and cut it a little bit smaller. Then you're going to take your rectangle, fold it in half to make a book, staple it so it doesn't move out of place, then fold the TV Guide printable to give it a crease. Apply the glue stick on the inside of the printable, then place the little white book that you made on the inside and press the printable over it. Make sure it completely dries and then you have a little TV guide. And that's all folks!